Shabbat Shalom! This week we are in the last Parsha of Shemot, Pekudi, and we're reading the fifth Aliyah. So far we have seen that Adonai has given Moshe all the instructions to build the tabernacle, the Mishkan, and the people have assembled all of their supplies and under the direction of Bezalel they have built everything according to Adonai's instructions. And now in this Parsha, we see all of it coming together. They set it all up. In the last few weeks, we've been studying how every part of the Mishkan teaches us something about Yeshua. Let's see it all come together and let's see what you can remember about every different part. The entrance is the way to the Lord. Yeshua says he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through him. Then we get to the altar where the sacrifices were made. And whereas the blood of bulls and goats couldn't pay for sins for all eternity, the sacrifice of Yeshua does. And then we come to the basin where the priests washed up. And this teaches us about Yeshua when he says uh, that he'll wash us in the water of his word. Then we looked at the walls. And remember the walls are made of acacia wood and overlaid with gold. And that teaches us about Yeshua's humanity and deity. And it also teaches about us. We are being built up together into the body of Messiah. And like the boards, we stand with our feet in the redemption represented by the silver sockets, the redemption that Yeshua provides. On the inside, we see the bread of the presence because Yeshua is the bread of life, the altar of incense because he sits at the right hand of God the Father interceding for us, he prays for us and the lampstand, the menorah, because Yeshua is the light of the world. We see the curtain um, that divided the holiest place from the holy place, and it was split in two from top to bottom when Yeshua died. This means that when Yeshua died for us, we now have access through him, through his body, to the Father in the holiest of places. And inside there, we see the Ark of the Covenant and um, the cherubim on top, the mercy seat, hallelujah. And finally, we see that after all the items are set up, they are anointed with oil. Everything is anointed with oil, even the priests. Remember that everything that even the high priest wears reminds us about Yeshua. Being anointed with oil, anointed, the word in Hebrew for anointed is mem shin chet. And that is the same root where we get Mashiach. Yeshua HaMashiach is Yeshua, the one anointed for our, our salvation. So he is anointed with oil, and every item in the tabernacle is anointed with oil. Everything that the priest wears also shows us something about Yeshua. On his turban, he has the name of God. And on his breastplate, each one of the stones represents one of the tribes of Israel. He is holding the names of his people over his heart. His linen clothing represents righteousness. He is anointed with the sprinkling of the blood of the sacrifice and with the oil. And the pomegranates and the bells are reminders of what his job is when he goes into the Holy of Holies to intercede for us on our behalf. He prays for us. He worked salvation for us. And he provided a way for us to come to God the Father. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom.